Hello, welcome back to Learn Economy. Today we are going to discuss a very novel topic that is micro foundations of macroeconomics. Let's see what does it mean. Coming to the microeconomic foundations of macroeconomics, we can see that there exists a connection between microeconomics and macroeconomics. This connection is something that is highlighted or stressed as far as micro foundations of macroeconomics is concerned. So it is identified as an effort that is taken in order to understand the macroeconomic phenomena in terms of the economic agents behavior as well as their interactions. So let's consider the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics. We know that as far as microeconomics is concerned, it just deals with individual agents. Individual economic agents like a single firm, like a single consumer, etc. Coming to macro, we deal with the aggregates. We will be having certain variables that will be taking into consideration the aggregates in the economy like the unemployment, like the inflation, like the national income and so on. So this is the basic difference between micro and macro, microeconomics and macroeconomics. When we say that there is such a connection between microeconomics and macroeconomics and the aggregate will be dealing with a combination of or a totality of microeconomic aspects. Here lies the basic idea. So the micro foundations projects just tells that if microeconomics is something that is very minimal, it will be having some influence on the totality that is macroeconomics or it just says that if microeconomics is associated with some small small units and macroeconomics is associated with aggregates, this will be having some common connections or link. So let's see the details of the very same here. As I was telling, microeconomics will deal with the individual economic units like household, like firm, etc. Macroeconomics will be dealing with the aggregate or the totality. Here we will see how does this microeconomic units would be acting as a foundations for the totality. Let's have a detailed look into the very same. So when we say micro foundations of macroeconomics, it will just deal with understanding or deriving something called equilibrium conditions. And how do we attain equilibrium condition? We know that when demand is equal to supply, we will be having an equilibrium. And corresponding to the point where demand equals supply or corresponding to the point where the demand curve intersects the supply curve, you will be having an equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. So the demand supply condition, the demand supply equilibrium condition would be attained through something called optimization problems. And this is mainly used with respect to microeconomic principles. So when we say optimization, we might go for something called profit maximization because it's a positive thing so you want to maximize it cost minimization because it's a negative thing so you will be minimizing it risk minimization loss minimization and so on whenever we go for optimization this maximization minimization aspects will be taken into consideration by going for certain constraints whether it is profit, whether it is cost, whether it is risk, whether it is some other elements like losses or profit, it will be attained whether it is maximization or minimization. You can attain this by satisfying some constraints or only by overcoming certain constraints. Only in the presence of this constraint you can consider these. This will make the situation more realistic. So the microeconomic foundations of macroeconomics will give rise to modern macroeconomic practice that will be taking into consideration the role of microeconomic foundation. So it just say that micro acts as a base. That's it. Now, this kind of relationship is well established in DSG models. And it tells about the benchmark models for analyzing the monetary and fiscal policy. But what does it mean by DSG models? 
Let's see what does it mean by that. The DFG models is called as the dynamic stochastic general equilibrium models. So these are certain macroeconomic models which will be using microeconomic principles. Altogether, we can't consider it as macroeconomic models, but it will be relying on microeconomic principles. Also, we can say that it would be using certain general equilibrium theory in order to explain and predict. So, what does it mean by general equilibrium? General equilibrium just means that simultaneous equilibrium. Simultaneous equilibrium means all the market would be attaining equilibrium simultaneously. For example, the goods market, the facto market, money market, capital market, all the market would be attaining equilibrium simultaneously which you call it as the general equilibrium situation. So when we say a dynamic stochastic general equilibrium model, it would be identified basically as a macroeconomic model but it would be using the microeconomic principles as its base. And also it would be depending upon the general equilibrium theory and this model is used for two purpose to explain the context that is one and to make some predictions based on the present scenario. So these are the important uses of DSGE models. Taking you to more explanations of micro foundations of macroeconomics we can see that. There is exists another important model called the Smex Waters model. So what does it mean by this model? Actually, this model is being put forward by two people in the year 2003. Uh, the first person's name is Frank Smets. So there comes the name Smets. The second person's name is Raphael Waters. So there's, there come this mod, this name water. So these this, these two economists or these two people have contributed and developed this Smets Waters model, and it is identified to be a DSG model, and it's an example of something called microeconomic foundations of macroeconomics. So. Why is this model taken into consideration? That is what we are going to look into right now. This particular model or the Smets Waters model is being considered in order to address several economic issues that is connected to something called the business cycle. So it can be taken into consideration doing with the business cycle analysis which would be taking into consideration the changes or fluctuations that will be happening in the business cycle. So you can go for a cross correlation uh, that will be taking into consideration the relation between the output and uh, input and also you can take into consideration the role of inflation, productivity etc etc as far as microeconomic foundations or macroeconomics is being concerned. Then, Altogether, microeconomic foundations of macroeconomics will be providing a very complicated modeling structure. So this is complicated because complicated because it is identified as very complex. It will be taking some minute aspects of microeconomic aspects in order to build or construct a huge building. So here microeconomic foundation means microeconomics will just act as bricks. Every single brick is being considered as micro foundation. So what about macro? So macro could be taken as a building, a very big huge building which is being constructed by using several bricks. So it just provides a logical structure of decision making as far as economic decision making is concerned. And when we go for this decision making, we have to take into consideration every brick that is involved here. That means every microeconomic principle that is involved here should be taken into consideration. So here the main intention is to go for a macroeconomic model and it is identified to be a very very modern approach. What this macroeconomic model would be relying upon us? Pure microeconomics. So simply speaking, micro foundations of macroeconomic means 
it involves macroeconomics using microeconomics so nowadays we could see that it is getting a lot of attention it, the topic is being highly debated highly discussed for its uses in wide variety of arenas that's it hope you understand thank you i request you to like share and subscribe this to this channel for more videos also you can join our free tilgan community i'll be providing the link of the very same in the description box you can download the learn economia app for that also i'll be providing the link in the description box that's it thank you for watching